Hi everyone, so I wasn't intending on doing a video today, but I couldn't wait to open this. So this is a doll that I've been looking for for a while. It's a doll I really wanted. So I've been to work today and when I come home, it arrived. Just after I came home, it arrived. So I thought, I'm gonna unbox it. So it's still in its wrapping, as you can see. I have cut, just cut my dress off so that I don't show you my dress. But yeah, I'm gonna open it up for you. So I got it from Amazon and it came really quickly. It was another EU order from Amazon. I ordered it on Monday? Yeah, and it came today, so it didn't take long, did it? Right, so here we go. Ooh. Oh, she's amazing. Now, I've got all three of the Rainbow High Colour and Create dolls. I love them. I've all got white hair, and they all wear white clothes and the idea is you draw on the clothes with these pens which i haven't done because i like them as they are now these dolls are called the watercolor and create dolls so they actually come with paints i still don't actually know that i'm going to use the paints terrible aren't i but look at her face so she was I think there's three in this series and she was my favourite one and I managed to get her on Amazon. As I say, it was Amazon EU and yeah, she came really quickly. So this is the second one of the dolls I've ordered via Amazon EU and they both come really quickly. So let's unbox her. Did it have a, seeing if it had anything in the, no, that hasn't got an invoice or anything. But yeah, I love her. So her hair is straight, which I like. I love her shoes. I mean, I do love, I mean, look what they've done to her hair. I do love that. If I thought I would be able to do that, I'm definitely not gonna color her clothes. I probably won't colour her hair, but if I thought I could get it to look that good, I might give it a go. That's another picture there, look, where they've done her hair. I love her face. She's amazing. So, yeah, I wasn't intending to buy a doll, but I have, I have been looking for these. So these aren't available anywhere in the UK at the moment. I paid 33.99 I think which is I don't know a bit less than what they should be I think so you've got some sort of brush here which is obviously to put that oh her face so her eyes are like a sort of mint green can you see how amazing do they look oh I think that's got to be one of the most stunning faces I've seen on a Rainbow High doll. She's so nice. So I love the shoes she's wearing. I also like the shoes. She comes with a second pair of shoes. So there's a, a pot and everything to mix the dye in. I don't know whether I'm going to get involved in that, to be honest. We'll see. I might do. Who knows? Never say never. So another really, really busy day at work and it was so hot. My cat's just come in. Yeah, so it's been really nice here today. Well, not that I've seen it, I've been in work, but I'm off tomorrow, so that's good. Right, so let's get her out. So, her hair's straight, which as I say, I love like the rainbow high dolls with the straight hair 
Yeah, I couldn't wait to unbox her. Couldn't wait. And I thought, well, I'll share it with you. So she's got a little plastic around her arm, which is a bit unusual. Don't normally have them around their arms. It was around her elbow. So this bit here is just to demonstrate, I guess, what you could do on her t-shirt, isn't it? Oh, I love her little t-shirt. So she's got cropped wide leg white trousers on. Let's get her hair out. There's some um, plastic over her hair. It's quite hard to get out. Goodness me. I don't want to cut her hair. Oh, she's got silver in her hair. Oh, right, okay. I didn't realise she had silver in her hair. I don't know whether I would have preferred her to just not have silver in her hair, but yeah, she has got silver in her hair. She's got the light like, tinsel in it. I'm not sure whether I like that or not. Let's see. When we get her out, we can see properly, can't we? I'm just trying to get her hair out carefully I don't want to cut her hair right I think she's out apart from her head which I think shall I pull it out or is there enough room to I don't know there's enough room to snip Oh, one of them seems to have come out already. So, yeah, she's in three times on her head. But I've managed to pull her out. So what's keeping her in now then? Oh, there's another one there. Oh, for goodness sake, is she in four times? Right, she's out. She's free. Just got to pull her hair out. Her face and the colour of her eyes is so nice. So that's the back of her hair. So there's not really much product in it. There's some product there, but this bit here is completely solid. So I'm going to have to wash this hair, which is fine. It's straight. So, but I mean, I don't know why they've put all down there. That's solid product, and it's just not necessary, is it? I wonder if I can comb some of it out. Let's get a comb out. So she comes with a white comb. And as I say, there's a there's a brush that I assume you put the you paint the paint on her hair and on on her clothes with. So let's show you that. It's like a makeup brush. It's white as well itchy nose so yeah you've got that brush and then this is oh that's just come off oh that's not good is it the end bit's just come off let's get the end bit out let's just snip that and then we can get it out that way the end bit is like a sort of um applicator so let's stick that back in. I mean, it does fall out quite easily, but I've stuck it back in. So you've got that end, which is like a sponge applicator, and this end is a brush. So this is obviously so you can apply the paint. So it comes with six different color paints that I'm probably not gonna get off. It says it's washable, so you can put the paint on and obviously wash it off. So there's the colours of the paint. You've got purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and pink. You've got six colours. So the other thing you've got, so maybe I will do some of this. I don't, I don't know. It looks like you've got some stencils in here as well. Yeah. So, yeah, so you've got some stencils and also some elastic bands. You see, you've, let's get it out. You've got a heart. So I guess this is so you can put things on their clothes, which I suppose is good that you've got stencils, isn't it? 
So you've got some elastic bands in there, which I assume is for hair styling or maybe for tie dye. There's three elastic bands in there. And then you've got the stencil. So you've got a heart. You can't really see that, can you? You need to put it against something. That's not that good, is it? Let's put it against this. So you've got a heart. There we go. That'll work better, won't it? You've got a heart, a star, and a... What's the other bit? Oh, it's like a, a lightning flash. Yeah. So that's quite a good idea, isn't it? So you could look, like put a heart on a t-shirt, couldn't you, with the paint? So let's have a look at her first and then I'll show you her accessories. I was gonna try and comb her hair. So the other thing you can do with this doll is obviously you can use the paints in your own hair. That looks nice, doesn't it? So children are gonna love doing that. I mean, I'm sure it won't look anything like that if a child did it, but you can do it in your own hair. Yeah which I think children would really like, wouldn't they? So it says on the back, it's your time to tie dye, design your very own rainbow high doll again and again. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. Nice for a child, isn't it? Yeah. There's a lot, there's a bit more to it than the Colour and Create doll. As I say, this is the watercolour and create. You can dip it, tie dye it, dab it, rinse and repeat. Yeah. What do you use the brush for then? It doesn't show the brush being used, but I assume you can use the brush on the hair. Right, so let's see if we can comb any other product out of this hair. I think I'm gonna end up washing it. I love these dolls' hair. The, the other colour and create dolls, they've all got white hair. I love them. I've, the other ones I've left all with white hair and I haven't done anything to any of their clothes. I did colour in a, a pair of shoes just to show how bad it looks really. But this might well be different because it's paint as opposed to, I mean, these are basically felt tip pens. So this might well be better. So I don't know whether there's three of these, I think. I don't know whether the other two are on Amazon. They probably are. This was the one I wanted, the dark skinned girl. Her skin is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I hope it's been sunny where you are. I think it's been sunny all day here. As I say, I've been at work, so I haven't really been able to see it, but I'm bearably hot at work again. So I'm managing to get some of the product out of her hair just by combing it. Now, I know with, I can't think the other doll, is it Amaya who's got tinsel in her hair? I know some people don't like it. I don't mind it. If I had to choose, I would probably say I would have preferred the doll without it. But I don't mind it. I don't hate it. So the product is actually coming out quite quite well. I'm just going to take this plastic, cut this plastic thing off her head. Has she got any more that needs to come off? I'm just checking how well rooted she is. I don't know that... I think where she's been in the box, I don't think it's, yeah, it's made her hair sort of look its best. So most of the glitter is down the back. Can you see? I mean, it is pretty. There's quite a lot of glitter in it. There's more in it than there was in Amaya's hair, Amaya's hair. So there's still quite a lot of product here. That is solid. I don't know that I'm going to be able. To, I don't think I'm going to be able to comb that out. No, I don't think so. Oh, I don't know though. It's coming out a bit. I might just end up washing it. Mm, it is. I mean, it is combable. You'd have to work at it. But it is combable. 
So none of these dolls have got any names. So I've got all these unnamed dolls. I'm not really into naming dolls. I forget the names of the Rainbow High dolls that do have names anyway. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't mind the um, glitter. So yeah, she's got quite a lot of glitter in her hair. So her hair is really soft. For the bits that haven't got product in, it is lovely and soft. It's really nice. It's beautiful, beautiful hair. I love the white hair. I don't know why, but I do. I think I like it's because it's simple. It's the simplicity of it that I like. I think. So she's got a fringe and her fringe right so this bit of her fringe which is really unusual hasn't got any product in it just shows that the fringe can lay flat without product in so they don't need to put it in but then here this bit of fringe you've got a great big bit of product in yeah which you might be able to comb out i don't know i like the dolls that have fringes as well it's funny isn't it what we sort of like I don't think I'll be getting the other two. I think I'm happy. Famous last words, so I'm just so pleased to get her. She's lovely. So her fringe comes right down to her eyelashes. So her eyelashes are coming up over her fringe look. I like that. I mean, the colour of her skin is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful and mint green eyes. Look at her lips. She's, so she's got a real sort of deep, reddy, orangey lip colour, can you see? And she's got lovely white teeth. She's got blush on. She's got ears, pierced ears, she hasn't got any earrings in. trying to see what makeup she's got on so she's got like brown eyebrows and she's got some yeah she hasn't really got a lot of makeup on she's got some black eyeliner some brown eyeshadow and that's about it it her makeup's quite natural it's the eyes that i love look at those they're so nice aren't they so she's wearing a little t-shirt it's a little crop t-shirt it's got an r and an h on it and it's got a little collar and it velcros at the back it's really cute isn't it like that velcroed all the way down the back look and then she's got some matching high-waisted white trousers that are cropped and are a wide leg which are also really nice you've got two silver faux buttons here and then at the back you've got velcro coming down from her waist down to her bottom over her bottom so they've got real pockets the pockets are actually real big pockets here that you can actually put things in and she's got some platform chunky white shoes on with three straps going across the front look they're nice aren't they I love what she's wearing. So she hasn't got. Try and have a look. She hasn't got any nail varnish on. Her nails are natural. She's got the normal articulation of a rainbow high doll, but not in her hands. That's interesting, isn't it? Oh no, she ha has. She hang on. Yeah, she has. So she's got her knees. Her elbows, obviously her shoulders, but not her hands. Her wrists don't don't move. She hasn't got articulation there. So I wonder, I guess the other colour and crate dolls I've got are the same. I'm not sure. I might have to have a look, actually. I don't know that they are. I'm going to compare in a minute. Right, so she's got the normal movement in her head. Her head goes up and down. Let's take her shoe off. Yeah, she's got feet for heels. I love her hair. I love it. 
It's her eyes I like the most. Look how beautiful she is. I can't get over her. She's really beautiful, isn't she? I'm just going to compare her articulation to one of the Colour and Create girls because I have a feeling that they might be different. Yes, they are. Now that's interesting, isn't it? So the other three Colour and Create dolls I've got, this is not Colour and Create, this is Watercolour and Create. But they've all got hand articulation, wrist articulation, look. Can you see? So I would expect this doll to have the same, but she hasn't. She hasn't got wrist articulation. So I wonder why they've changed that. That's, um, cause they're the same price. That's strange, isn't it, that they've done that? She's got a bit of plastic. It's just like a bit of plastic where her elbow is there, the inside of her elbow. I just need sort of... Yeah, it's just a little bit of plastic. I just need sort of snipping off, really. There's nothing wrong with it. But yeah, so why have they not done her hands? I don't really get that, why they'd change it. Oh, I guess it's less for them to do, isn't it, really? I mean, I don't mind her hands. I mean, I've got no problem with her hands, but um, I have to say that, um, just checking that her elbows work. That one's quite stiff, that one's quite loose. Yeah, there's no articulation in the hands. So yeah, that's something they've taken away from these dolls. Wow, interesting. Just checking that her knees do actually bend. Yeah, her knees still bend and her elbows still bend. Oh, it's a shame they've done that, isn't it? Why? You know, they're the same price. They're a very similar type of doll. And you take away the articulation in the wrist. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, isn't it? She's lovely, isn't she? So she's the last one I got, this girl, of the Colouring Create. I've got all three of them. I'm not going to get all three of these, so I think I'm only just going to get this one. She was the one I wanted. So there we go, look. Which one do I prefer? I prefer this one. I know I've only just got her, and I know sometimes you prefer the one you've just got, but she's stunning, absolutely stunning. Yeah really nice isn't she it's the eye color I can't get over she's beautiful absolutely beautiful love her right so let's see what else we get in here I haven't had actually seen any reviews on these um, dolls not on the watercolour and create I mean I guess you probably are sort of getting more are you maybe maybe you are I hate getting the accessories out it's a pain I'm just pulling <laughs> I get fed up of cutting and what have you the way I've ended up having to cut it. There is a breeze. I'm in my doll room, I've opened my windows and there is a breeze as well as me having my fan on. But there was no breeze while I was working. Well, we haven't got any windows. We're on a first floor. We haven't got any windows. Well, we've got, we've got a glass part of the roof. It's a metal building basically. And part of the roof so it's all a, a metal roof and the middle part of the roof is all glass and the aircon doesn't work. You can imagine how hot it is, not only for me, but for customers as well. Yeah, but there's nothing I can do about it. So. 
I wear one of those neck fans. I don't know whether you've seen them. I wear a fan around my neck, which helps slightly. I mean, it doesn't do a lot, but it helps slightly. I get a bit of air around my face. Probably stops me from passing out. But um, yeah, so I do a six hour shift and it, the, the battery on it won't last. Oh, it's another applicator. You've got two of them. So you get two applicators. Yeah, you get a spare one. So um, it won't last six hours. So I have it on the lowest level I can and it will last about five hours on the lowest level. A shame so I'd like to have it on full blast really so I try not to put it on when I first get to work I leave it off for about the first hour and then I get desperate and I have to put it on and I put it on and it always runs out sometimes it runs out with half an hour left sometimes it runs out with an hour left to go so it won't do the full the charge won't do the full six hours not even on the lowest level which is a shame but yeah on there. I wonder whether there's anything. Can you see that? There's a box on there. There's nothing in it. I don't know what's on there really. It's for decoration, is it? Oh, hang on. Oh no. I thought there was I thought that was something there. What's that one? What's this for? Is that for anything? It's like a flimsy plastic lid. I don't know, and then there's a box there, like an empty box. There is instructions. So all of this is washable. So let's see what these paints look like then. What colour shall I open? Let's see what they consist of. I mean, I wonder how long this, these paints last. You know, if, if you're gonna sort of do them and then reuse them, I wonder how much you get out of them. So how do they open? Oh, all oh, right, so they're sealed. I'm not gonna open that. So they're sealed, which is good, isn't it? And then you've got your paint underneath. So you've got an R and an H on the top there. So yeah, they are sealed. So I'm not gonna break the seal. But yeah, so there's the colours. Purple, you've got sort of like blue, yellow, orange, pink and green. The green's my favourite, that's nice, isn't it? So I might try something with them, I might do. I mean, I suppose if you've got one of these, one of these stencils on, I don't know, her leg or something, and then you, you dabbed it with the paint like that, I reckon that could work, couldn't it? And actually look okay. I think it's better than the Colour and Create felt tip pens. Right, so you get another pair of shoes that are also platforms, and they're sandals, and they're white, like those. You get a spoon, you get a little measuring jug, which I assume is to mix the paint maybe if you want to mix the colors do you think maybe you have to put water with the paint I don't know so you get that and you get another little t-shirt that's got rainbow high on it you get a nice little t-shirt I really like the t-shirt she's wearing actually I'm going to leave her as she is for the moment anyway and you get the white comb what I was going to say was is what I always say no stand <laughs> I'd rather have a stand than any of that but I don't know whether I'm going to give it a go or not I might do because it does look I mean I'm not sure, quite sure what the spoon and the jug are for unless you have to maybe it's so you can mix the colours or maybe you can I don't know whether you add water let's have a look at the instructions See what it involves. I 
instructions are rather thick. Open the oh, they're color pigment powders. Remove the foil seal, shake it out, shake color pigment powder into bowl, close the shaker to prevent spillage. Yes, I don't know that you do. I don't think you do add water or anything. So what's the... You get a doll, you get a t-shirt, pair of shoes, stencil bowl, elastic bands, colour pigment powder shakers, measuring cup. What's the bowl then? Is that the bowl? I think this is supposed to be the bowl. So keep that, don't throw that away. I think that's the bowl. Yeah, it is, it's the bowl. What else do you get? A hair comb, a sponge head, a duo-ended brush, and a measuring spoon. You get a second sponge head, which I've got. So yeah. You can switch out the sponges to colour and create with multiple colours. So this is powder. So yeah. I guess you mix the different colours in, in the bowl maybe. I don't, I don't know what the measuring jug's for. I would read more of it, but I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> right. So there she is. I love her. I love her and I'm very pleased to have, have her on this lovely Saturday. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.